So tell what, us, what was he like growing up? We know him as a big strapping young man. Yeah, what was he like man? Oh, was he? I'm yes. good. Well, yeah. I love stories like that. Brilliant. Tell us. Great start. Yeah. He still hasn't grown out of his Kevin stage. Oh! <laughs> We're going to enjoy this. Yeah. <laughs> well, huffing, puffing, throwing himself on the floor. No! <laughs> <laughs> that was this morning as well, wasn't yeah. it? I hope your mates are watching that today. I really <laughs> do. Running upstairs, slamming doors. <gasps> what would he throw himself on the floor over? Just if I told him he couldn't do something, and he would <laughs> just throw himself down, just like Kevin. Wow. I've, never been, I've never been good at somebody telling me not to do something. If Does she told do... me not to do something, I'd do, I'd do it anyway. Or I'd do the opposite of what she says. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why I still do it. And, and yet you wanted him to stay living with you. Yes. <laughs> why did... I don't get that, you see. Because, you know, Finley is 14... No, he's 15 now. And the moment he goes, oh, I think, why? Right, only a few more years. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, what? you look as if you've got a really strong relationship now. I mean, to have yeah. that kind of humour between the two of you, mm. I mean, clearly you're, you're really close, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Jake has always been able to make me laugh, always. Mm. Um, even when I've been at the bottom of a big black hole, Jake can always make me laugh. He's been my rock, really. And, and you have had some terrible times. Mm. Um, we, we mentioned just at the, at the start of uh, the show that, you know, losing one member of your family to cancer is absolutely heartbreaking. How did you cope with two? Obviously, there was Jake's brother and, of course, your, your husband as well. Yeah. Um, I, think, I, I think you have to think to yourself that these tragic things happen to everybody. Um, you know, I, we're not the only family that have lost loved mm -hmm. ones. Um, and although it was very difficult and losing Oliver was possibly the worst thing that I think I will ever, ever go through in my life, um, I still had Jake and obviously I've got Adam and I knew I had to carry on and be strong for them. Yeah. Um, I think if Jake hadn't been going through what he was going through with um, X Factor at the time, mm. um, I possibly would have had a breakdown. Um, but him going on the X Factor and, and looking forward to things, it gave us all something to focus on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as, as a family, we needed that. We needed something to focus on. and, and not forget, but just take you out of it for a moment. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, at, at evening, the door would shut and it would all go quiet and then everything would come gushing back. Yeah. But when you're in the middle of it, and, and I wanted Jake to do so well because I've always supported Jake mm. um, financially. <laughs> and... <laughs> Jake, I mean, this was going on whilst you were doing X Factor and, and you found it quite hard to open up yourself, didn't you? I've always found it hard to open up. I always have. I'm, like, <laughs> I deal with everything with a smile and, and try and make people laugh. That's just the way I am. Mm. Um, so, 2012, when I first did the X Factor, that's when Ollie was diagnosed and he was really unwell then, yeah. Um, so, and I didn't make it that year. Um, and then he passed away and it was just like a year of hell and I was doing nothing. I was really doing nothing. I've talked about it before. I, I was just, I was kind of just partying and trying well, to take you, my you mind off things. You said you not yeah. went off the rails. I don't mean that. Yeah. But you, yeah. you did kind of... Yeah, I just, I just kind of dealt with it in my own way. And my own way was to surround myself with people that made me laugh and, and take my mind mm. off things. But then, like my mum said, then you'd get in bed at night and I'd hear my mum crying in the other room. Um, and it's just like... Um, and then when, when I decided to do the X Factor again in 2014, that's when, it kind of, that's when I kind of grew up a little bit and thought, you know what, I've actually got a dream that I want to do here, so I may as well give it a bash. You've got a letter, haven't you? I have. To I've read wrote, your yeah, mom. I wrote my mum a letter. Aww. And these are, these are the Ugh. things that you wish Get you'd said. Get your tissues ready, I think. Yeah. No, it's just I'm not very good. I'm better at writing things down, so I yeah. just thought I'd write it. Right. <clears throat> here we go. Mother. Oh. <laughs> she hates it when I call her mother. Um, I've never really said thank you. Like any, any typical stubborn guy, I'm not that great at talking about my feelings. But honestly, Mum, I am so thankful to have you in my life. You've always supported me, even when I was just laying around the house and messing everything up. You had faith in me and pushed me to follow my dreams. 
I know your heart is still broken, but Oliver would be so very proud of how you've carried on. I know how much he loves you because it's exactly the same as, much, uh, as I do. I didn't really deal with losing Dad and Oliver. Like everything, I tried to carry on and put, on a, to put it to the back of my mind, but you helped me cope. I knew I had to be strong for you, as did Adam. Oliver and Dad will be watching di down, guiding us all in everything we do, so don't ever think you won't see him again because you will. He's always around. I hope I make you proud because you, you've made me the man I am today. Love you always. <laughs> this saves me from buying a Mother's Day present. <laughs> <laughs>